Je profite de votre Je suis Ms. Rana. I went to school in Maxine in the city at 82 Studios, near Lincoln Center. So after I left, my mom wanted to go to Macy's and my dad wanted to go home. So she starts walking down Broadway to Macy's and I'm like, oh my God, I'm in shoes. There's no way I'm walking. Like, let's take the bus. And literally like two buses passed us. And she's like, no, 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 there's no buses. There's no buses. We'll walk. So I got so mad and was like, screw this shit. I'm going back to meet my dad. I'm not walking to Macy's. Forget it. I'm going home. So I'm on the phone with my dad asking where he is. And he's like, oh, my Starbucks by Columbus Circle. So I'm walking backwards now from like, I don't know, 58th Street, like two blocks. So I'm literally across from Central Park. And this guy comes up to me while I'm on the phone, all pissed off, upset, whatever. And asks me, can I borrow your cell phone to take a picture? I look at him like, are you crazy? Like, this is New York. Nobody's going to give you a cell phone while they're on their cell phone. So you could go steal my cell phone. Like, new. No. So Brian Quinn was wearing a wig. So after I'm walking, I meet my dad. And I'm like, that was the weirdest thing. And then I'm like, oh, shit. That was Brian Quinn that came up to me just he had a wig on. Because I noticed his face, but I didn't, like, really pay attention when he was talking to me, because I was just so pissed off, thinking, you're interrupting me while I'm on the phone, and you're asking to borrow my cell phone? Like, really? I'm a New Yorker. No. So, I literally had, I was, like, so clueless, not even paying attention. And then after, I'm like, shit, I could have been on a Practical Jokers. <laughs> so, I just told Mer the story, and he was dying laughing. So, he's like, so, you blew up Quinn. <laughs> And I'm like, yep, yeah, I blew off Quinn. I'm the girl that could have been on a practical jokers and blew off Quinn. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, you know, of course, I would love to see them in the city again. But, you know, if you notice them, they don't pick you. When you're busy on a phone or you're busy not paying attention is when they pick you. And that's what I read about, too. So, of course, you know, I wasn't paying attention. I was in a bad mood, not even thinking and remembering that they film in Central Park and by there and Battery Park and whatnot in Union Square. No, I wasn't really paying attention. So, it's actually good how they get you because I was so cool as what they did. And if I had saw him, I would have been like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you know. And of course, they went to pick me to be on the Practical Jokers, you know, if I knew it was him. So, they do get you, like, really good. But I literally was like what the fuck <laughs> but wow so yeah i told james 